Ah, uh, welcome back everyone to another episode of, well, you guys know, EU4 Morocco. Oh. So, we are now basically in a very good spot, and a very, very, very good spot, where we are rapidly gaining money, rapidly gaining people, rapidly gaining a lot of stuff. I mean, there is really not much I can really say about this, except we are rocking it, okay? Um... Which is really good, which really is making me think that we are almost ready for westernization. You know, that really infinite thing that sounds so scary, and it really is scary, and I'm really scared when we actually do it. Because I know that if we fail that, there, there's basically no going back. I mean, we will have no chances of going back, because once we go into westernization... Whew, yeah. So, yeah. We're just gonna go, but before we, I think what I'm going to do is kind of let my manpower recover, but, ah, uh, Rebels took away that little colony right there. That made me kind of feel sad right there. Okay, you guys, you guys almost made about to about be my, uh, little annex vassal. Uh, 1543, ah, uh, yeah, you guys are, you guys are definitely ready, so let's put, let's bring back the diplomat from France, France. Brigade strike at pilgrims. Ten prestige. I actually do need to start losing it, so if I lose some prestige, that's fine. But yeah. Um Basically, we're going this final mission of attacking the Mali is probably gonna be the last one we're gonna be doing for a little bit, and then we're gonna go after the big, big, big one, which is going to be trying to westernize. And I, 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 I really, it's, it's one of those things I'm really, like, nervous about. Because if we fail this, we get no second chances. This is a brutal, 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 you know, experience. However, I do believe if we get our manpower up to at least, to a good amount, I think we'll have, I think we'll be ready. Let's take Jelaine now. Let's go destroy the Mali troops. As we know, our troops can basically just walk all over the Mali. It isn't even funny how easily we can just walk all over these guys. Like seriously, it's 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 like I oh I, I really do, and I'm really not even joking. I really do feel bad for the Mali because they can't really do much. I will just walk all over them, and they just they just have to accept it. They just cannot like do much to try to counteract themselves. Otherwise, they get lost in the wilderness like that. And yeah. There we go. Mali are going to be completely conquered in a matter of seconds. Helping raise our war score. And we can actually get some more militaristic stuff. Militaristic speed of recovery. Yeah, let's get that. We also got some of this too, which is actually pretty good, but not quite great, I would say. Right, yeah. We're also getting less pious too, which is good. Because we're gonna need to get that tech pecking thing good. Okay, so let's see. Alright, just get, just siege it all down, siege it all down. This is pretty quick operation. Let's see. Uh, you need 10,000, so I need about 10,000 reserves. Yeah. Siege it all down. It's not even gonna be like a, a bad quickish war. And I think in my mission I'm supposed to take Jane. Yep, so I'm supposed to take Jane no matter what. So that's Definitely what we're going to do the most. Grain! Huzzah! That's good. We know what that is now. It's now grain. <laughs> there we go. And our little last little province right there. Let's go right there. Let's let's finish this off. There we go. Okay, Molly, let's see what we want from you guys. Okay, we we need Jane. And we need you to be our vassal. Okay, so I can't do that. So can I just fully annex them? No. Well, then we'll take everything else but this little tiny province right there. Plus all your money. There we go. And I guess we will Diplo annex them next time. Wow. I was actually think, hoping that they would uh, become really friendly with us, but apparently not. That made me feel sad. Spread our culture? No. Uh. Oh, I know what I know what this is. This is like the final little piece of yeah. Okay, maybe we'll do that later. But now, since we've kind of 
you know, take it easy. Actually, we should probably go finish off one more war. <laughs> one more war, and then we're completely done with warring for a little bit. And we'll just be kind of relaxing and taking it easy. But we do, I do believe we do need to go take down the uh, people of, of thought. Let's just build some more armories. Yeah, we're just, we're just packing on entire land for armories. Um, the last little bit of war we need to do is just against... Uh, we can lose some legitimacy. Doesn't really matter to me. Seems pretty good right now. But, yeah, let's see. And let me make sure that our next advisor... Who's our strong claim? He's just as good, so... Yeah, so if we did, if we were to die right now... I'm still thinking about... Sorry guys, I'm still thinking about Westernization, just so you guys know. But if we were to die right now, this guy would be... Then his son would be able to take over pretty easily, so we wouldn't have to, like do too much okay we should be able to conquer these guys because they're Sunni son of a oh gosh wow you are like the luckiest nation I've ever encountered right when I was going to be like all conquesting you had to be converted into the right religion you just had to be Okay, but there's apparently some other primitives like Ryoku, <laughs> which is somewhere over here. Um, uh, let's see, what causes bellies do I have, just so I know? Okay, I have the causes belli against uh, Ashanti, uh, against Congo. Ooh, Congo? Hmm. Actually, I can't get over the Congo yet. I, I have to go conquer some of the Hanza before I go do that. So. Let's just wait. Yeah, we could probably just wait a little bit. No, we are not being friends. I know you think we are friends in some little world of yours, but we are not friends. I could tell you that almost off the bat. Let's see, is there anything I have that requires Diplo points? Probably docks. Yep, docks. So let's spend some Diplo points. Just so that we can, like... Have better, like, you know, building times and stuff. Besides, this also increases our world power. Okay, there we go. Let's just keep going on. Yeah. We are just... I say our nation is awesome. That's all I gotta say. Our nation is just awesome. <sighs> Leaders are harder to find infidel. Oh, shoot. How much is our, is our army tradition? Oh my goodness, that's terrible. It's like one of those things I just can't quite... Figure out why is it so terrible. Okay, so now that we figured out fill a hole, we can go back in here. Now we can actually no, no no no. You're gonna stop patrolling for a little bit. I'm gonna have you do some special things. Like for one, I was gonna have you actually go discover America, but you seem to have done that by yourself. Wow. I don't know when you had the time to do all this, Z Zadie and Ozzy. But good job for discovering all that land. Okay, so uh. Yeah, you're kind of obsolete, so I don't think we need you anymore. It's just like, no lead of this and kick him out. Because I, I, I don't really think I need much more land. I could just go walk over to the rest of this land, so... Yeah, uh, you get to be kicked out. Even though you were a pretty good general, I'll admit that right now. But it seems like we don't need you anymore. And now I'm just waiting for my claim to fig figure out. The colony has been damaged. The colony has been damaged. Luckily, there's only about 500 natives on this island, so even if they do try, there's just not going to be enough of them to try to dis to try to uh, dislodge me. Uh, wow, the Songhai. You guys really seriously want to die? Seriously, I don't know what it is about your death wish, but fine then, let's go. I'm, usually, I'd have to like deal with the insults, but I'm a tougher nation than you, so let's go. Okay, while we're also doing go, let's go take over our good friends of the Sunni Belief, just so that we know we have them. Okay, probably got a coalition against us. No, we do not. Okay, split up these guys, go right here, cap out these two guys, and move up these two units. And then next is the Songhai, because the Songhai want to think that they are deadlier than me. They think that they're deadlier than me. We'll see who's deadlier than who. Reduce overextension, that will give us... 
Gain the skill through diplomat. No. Claim a rival, build a proper fleet. None of these really none of these quests really fit what we're trying to do right now. Um as soon as they're done over here, then I'll go up here and go seize that last little part. Uh Songhai. You wanna you wanna insult me, don't you? Well guess what? Take this. Did they destroy my colony? No, they have not. Good. Okay. Go right here. Go right here directly into Songhai. Teach these guys what what real fear is. Okay, yeah, they want they want to go directly to my little place. They don't even win. What? They don't even win when they actually have the. Ah, oh, never mind. Songhai, you you guys are idiots. That's all I'm gonna say. You guys really did think I wasn't going to come after you if you guys insulted me. Okay, go right here. Men, go right there. Wait, where's my conquistador? Go right there. Okay, next you go right there. Okay, and yeah. Yeah, they, they, they really are stupid, that's all I gotta say. I mean, they really didn't think that I would come after them if they publicly insulted me and said, and said like, your mama's fat. Yeah, of course I know my, of course I know my mama's not stupid, but if my mom was big, then you have no right to say that. And I just got a new legal heir. Uh, okay. Okay, it's officially decided. This guy has to be the one we have to, uh, industrialize with because he is probably gonna be the best we have for a very long time so uh, unbelievers or lose piety like I said I'm still trying to lose the piety okay right there we go and yeah two wars at the exact same time like I'm such a boss right now I mean seriously these guys I'm fighting two wars at the same time and not even really caring about either because I already know I'm just kind of just I'm gonna win both it's just a matter of when I'm gonna win. Oh, well, the Hansa, they want to peace out. You guys are gonna become my new, like, vassals. Hmm. Actually, yeah. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna have them become my new vassals. Because they, because that'd be really good vassals, actually. That way I have. Hmm. Alright. There we go. And now, once these, one, these guys are done, I'll go send them down over here to go finish up the Hansa. Ooh, you guys got unlucky, Hanzo. You guys got the big stack. There we go. Now we just wait until this all finishes the sieging, and then voila. Jane just had a rebellion. Good job, Jane. Probably do the Mali supporting rebels. I'm not even going to joke around about that. Conquer Kadar. Conquer. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's owned by the Mamelukes. Okay, at some point I'll go do that. Adopt the title Kafra. Kafra, yearly prestige. Sure, I don't see the negative implications of that, but yeah, prestige gain. Sure. Okay, so let's finish off with the rest of these sieges. Siege is over. There's some kind of sieging going on. I should probably pay attention to this. Uh, only hostile siege is that one right there, which I'll go deal with in a second. Colony self sustaining. Yeah. Let's go send this colony over here. <laughs> oh gosh. And now I got Fernando Po, which means now they now I don't have any now the Europeans can't get over here very effectively. Portugal is even gonna have a difficulty trying to get over here, which is good. So it's kinda of what I want. Okay, Hansa. You guys. You guys are converted SUNY, yes? Yes, you guys will give me your trade power and you guys will give me your vassalage. There we go. You are now free to go about your duty as much as you want. Okay, Songhai. Let's see, what do I want from you guys? Let's see, can you guys become my vassals too? That'd be nice if you guys became my vassals. Yep, Morocco, we in vassals? Sure, give me all your money. There we go. <laughs> and now we're a big, gigantic, happy family. Look at that. Three vassals and one actual leading person. Okay. So let's see. You guys, I should probably royal marriage now. Because <laughs> I've been not, kind of neglecting it. But yay! We got more vassals. And now we actually got an insane amount of land. So let's just go start 
dealing with the insane amounts of land we now have. And let's keep trying to block up all the European adventurers that may try to come into our land. Because we don't want that to happen. And we could actually gain more tech emissaries. I actually do need that because if we I do want to build a neat new unique building of an emissary. Because that would actually like having a couple more diplomats would help us out a lot. Okay, we we are not part of the same religion group paint. Oh shoot, they yeah, they are not our friends. Okay, well then you guys will marriage. I will marriage you guys too. That way we have instantly good bonds towards each other. Okay, but let's just move all of our men down here. Keep that three stack right there on top of the Yeah, kill kill all those niggas. Okay, next get a little bit more land down here. And that way we can start grouping up our... That way we can start having a consolidated empire of all this. There is a rebel band up there and I just noticed it. Okay. Um... This way, people. Onward to destroying the last little bit of rebel bands. and end of religious turmoil in Burgundy. They finally got... They finally decided they wanted to be... Okay, so Burgundy ultimately decided that they wanted to be Catholic. That's good. Uh, can't believe that the Holy Roman Emperor right now is a... Oh man, Bohemia. I, I, I can't believe it, guys. Like, seriously, it's one of those, like, open jaw moments. Because I never expected them. Also, I apparently I got some Muslim... Little unit of stupidness. Let's get that out. But yeah. What I'm also hoping is that maybe with all these vassals, maybe it will help my money situation. You know, once once we go into uh, y y we all know. Once I once I go into that that Westernization part, maybe it'll help me out with all this. Cause I know I'm gonna go back to zero. I know I'm gonna go back to zero relations, and a lot of things are gonna change in a very quick amount of succession. Ah, oh, this might help us out a little bit. Having less cost will always help. Okay, Fernando Po is being converted and you guys are now our vassals which is good which means we should probably increase relations you guys you guys should just automatically like this because you guys are our vassals okay and then I think I'll hmm, I'll start increasing the relationship with the song guy because will probably be the first one we're gonna annex and there we go finish up that little part there, and I'm going to divide up some of my army. One, two, and then one, two. There we go. We'll send these guys down there to kind of go protect that colony. There we go. Attacking. And before I can even start it, the. Oh my god. Really? Oh! Wow! I I don't remember this converting to me, but wow. Okay, so I have like ten regiments. Does that mean I've been overextended? No, I'm not overextended. Wow. Um, that means I've had like another army up here just chilling, not doing anything. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know I did that. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, let's hope our allies joined in. The Ottomans joined in, good job. Okay, and so now we're gonna do our third Castilian War. Gosh dang, Castile, will you guys just leave me alone? My king, the Christian infidels are calling for a crusade against us. Oh. You made this personal now, didn't you? You made this like a big personal thing. Ugh. Oh, so disgusting of you steal you guys just you guys just reek of like evil like seriously if there's any evil in this world this would count as steal being it okay uh, you guys are going to make me have to fight many soldiers but you guys are also gonna have to make me fight all of Christen Chris Christendom to try not to die this is going to be a fail battle no matter what you do I bet like Oh my goodness. Okay, and I can get that extra Diplo. Which would be pretty nice if I had. So let's create it in our... 
Uh, where do I want to create it? Fez. <laughs> yes. Let's create our massive, cool Ambassarium Fez. That way we can start having a third diplomat, which is what you need. You need a third diplomat, okay? They destroyed that, whatevs. Don't really care. As long as I control the war target of Tangiers, I'm gonna win. And I'm pretty sure they're stupid enough to just land troops on my head, so... As long as I just keep 10 troops right there, they will never be able to beat me. And eventually, you're just gonna lose, Castile. Just flat out lose. Okay, administrative problems. I don't really care. <laughs> don't, don't tell me, just just fix them. Honestly. You don't, need to, you don't need to tell me about every little problem that goes on in our country. And let's just let's just start coining that. Yeah. Slaves! Cast! I am fine, people. I am fine. I just wish things would be different. That's all I gotta say. I seriously wish things would be different. Alright, yeah, they're not, they're not gonna be able to gain. Yeah. Eh, we can gain it this one time because we do need that extra prestige. Can we afford it too? I think we could actually afford it too right now. That might actually give us a good balance. Yeah. Raise wartime taxes. Huzzah. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. Wait for the next episode where we find out the Castilian War. And I'll see you guys next time.